Hi everyone. All right, let's make sense of this data. We just left at the last video saying that the mean average for the UP students was 25 years old, which seems really high, and the standard deviation is 15. The golden rule says that 95% uh, of the data should be between two standard deviation, but two standard deviation is 30 years old, which is more than the mean so it, it, something is off here and clearly the outlier is a bit weird what we're saying here is it seemed like UP student there's a, a lot of young people here coming to to college you know when they're young it makes sense and then there's another population of, stu of students sometimes that come back to college after they had a full career of work so we have a big hole here and then we have some a retired person here decides to finish uh, college so this is nice, and it's not an error in the measurement. This person really exists, and they're, you know, it's great that they exist, but they clearly will mess up the statistics of this first population. So when we have outliers like this, the best thing to do often is to just not include them in, in the analysis. If you're interested, for example, in the young people, you just go and include just those. So what we'll do is we'll just go back to our data. We'll find the outliers. There's one for UP and one for Wall Campus, and so we'll just take both of them and not include them. Now you should never, never delete data. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take these these, uh, these two here, I'm gonna cut, and I'm gonna put them somewhere else, like right here. Okay, so I didn't, and I can delete these two also. I do not delete, never get rid of data point. These are not errors, these people exist, let's keep them, but I don't need, I will not, I don't want to include them, so I'm not going to put them in the same column. I'm just going to save, and yes, it's a CVS, CSV, and then I go back to stat key, I'm going to re-upload the file. So I got rid of the two outlier. I'm going to re-upload, and now you see I have two columns are undefined, I'm just going to use this one and that one, I'm not going to use the outliers gives me again the dot plot, here's the box plot. So now it looks a little different. So first of all, the world campus doesn't have any outliers anymore. The world campus has an age, a mean age of 34 and a standard deviation of nine. So it's a very spread out population of students. The mean is 34, which yeah, kind of makes sense. And the maximum is 45. The UP now have a new outlier. Turns out there's a student at 26 years old which now is an outlier given the rest of the population. So we have standard deviation here, it makes a bit more sense, says the age is, the mean age is about 20 with a standard deviation of three, but even that looks a little weird. So sim we still have an outlier. Let's get rid of that one too. So I can go back here, I'm gonna take this one, which is 26, There's an outlier, save, and go back to this one, we upload the data without the outlier. Open. Let me go to box plot. Ah, finally, now we have some data that doesn't have any outlier. And now we see that the UP, we only have five students now, so we got rid of somebody who was 26, which was a bit uh, strange, a bit, you know, a bit, a bit off. And then there was somebody, now the mean is 18 years old and the standard deviation is one year. So it says that of these five students, they're all 18 years old on average and about one year standard deviation. The wall campus is much older here at 34 in this particular example, and the standard deviation is nine. Okay. And now just visually, you can see a clear distinction between the two data sets. Clearly the UP people are on average younger. This is how you can play with the data and adjust things and come back and quickly get a feeling for what's going on. Note how this is way, way different from the original value. The original value was the mean was 20, uh, 25 with a standard deviation of 15. This was clearly, the mean can be clearly affected by outliers, so you have to be careful with those. 